And just a week after that CrowdStrike software glitch that brought down millions of computers, lawmakers warn it shows the vulnerability of our economy to IT challenges. KCAU 9's Washington correspondent Vinay Simlot explains their concerns. One software update brought down millions of computers and created chaos for many airlines at airports nationwide. You had literally tens of thousands of flights canceled. Delta says it grounded thousands of its flights from Friday through Wednesday. Secretary Pete Everybody. Buttigieg announced the Department of Transportation is investigating. You are entitled to cash if your flight is canceled and you don't take a rebooking. Missouri Senator Josh Hawley says he's gotten indications airlines aren't doing that. I want to make sure they are complying with the law. Aviation wasn't the only industry affected. Lawmakers say they're concerned one software glitch could have such broad effects on our economy. Well, it concerns me that so much of our economy, including our air transportation, is dependent on a single software supplier. CrowdStrike is a popular cybersecurity company. Last Friday, it pushed out a faulty update to Windows computers, bringing down billboards, affecting hospital communications and 911 centers. This was just a drop in the bucket of what could happen. Texas Congressman Tony Gonzalez was a naval code expert. He says even though this wasn't an attack, it shows what could happen if someone did hack a popular software. Less than 1% of, or 2% of Microsoft's overall machines were impacted, and it, yet it was the worst IT outage in history. He says the government needs to be on offense to make sure this never happens again. In Washington, I'm Vinay Simlot.